over 1.3 billion years ago in a galaxy far, far away, two huge black holes moving at half the speed of light crashed into one another, forming one bigger black hole. And in doing so, they stirred up the space-time around them, sending a ripple of waves moving through the cosmos. And those waves were detected on September 14, 2015, by the LIGO collaboration. This detection, the detection of gravitational waves, ripples in space-time in the very fabric of the cosmos, were predicted by Einstein in his theory of general relativity over 100 years ago. And this is the first time we've actually seen this. We've actually seen the universe in motion. Gravitational waves, if, if we think about the universe and having this fabric, this cosmos, gravitational waves are ripples, very much like the ripples on the surface of a pond. If you stir a pond up with a stick, it will generate ripples that then spread across the surface of the pond. And that's what these black holes did as they were colliding. They generated ripples that then have spread across the cosmos until they reached the Earth. The experimental detection was just stunningly beautiful. What you see are these ripples, these waves passing through the Earth and seen by the detector. And they are exactly what Einstein predicted we should see if there were two black holes, one with 29 times the mass of the sun and one with 36 times the mass of the sun in the final briefest uh, fraction of a second before they collided to form one larger black hole. So if we look at what they saw, their observations in the detector, and, and plot what Einstein said they should see, the data fall right on top of the predictions. The scientists are trying to detect an effect that is so small, they have to have a detector that's very, very sensitive. In fact, it's so sensitive that a truck driving down a road near one of the detectors will set off a signal in the detector. So in order to understand, is this really a signal that's coming from space versus something here on the Earth, the LIGO collaboration built two detectors, one in Louisiana and one in Washington. And what you look for is a signal in one detector and a fraction of a second later, you should see it in the second detector, exactly the same signal. And looking for that coincidence, the two signals with exactly the right time between them and exactly identical signals that tell you this is not something that happened nearby one of the detectors. This is coming from the cosmos itself. As you look out at the universe, if you look up at the night sky, if you look at the gorgeous images from the Hubble Space Telescope, what you're seeing is a snapshot. You're seeing a universe that looks very still and cold and unchanging. The universe, however, is always in motion. It's an incredibly dynamic, active, almost violent place where you have galaxies colliding with one another. You have black holes colliding with one another. You have um, planets spiraling about their own home stars. There's always something happening, but it happens on time scales that are often too long for humans to ever have any hope of seeing directly. What we saw today, what we heard about, this detection was actually seeing the universe move, seeing some of these motions on a time scale that are actually short, you know, fractions of a second. But to me, being able to see the universe itself in motion is just mind blowing. This detection opens a new window into the universe. It's going to allow us to explore the distant universe in ways we had never been able to before, almost unimagined even a few decades ago. It's almost as if we've discovered a new telescope or a new microscope, a new way of looking at things that have always been there, but we've never been able to see them.